you can see, it is a bit of a deserted. That isn't actually a football stadium. That is a stadium that they use for handball and apparently cricket. But apparently they don't use it no more and it's just sat there. They built it, played a bit of handball and yeah, no, we don't like handball anymore. So um, yeah, we are about, where I am about 15 minutes from anywhere. Um, you may just be able to see the desert background there. Uh, the buildings in the city center, Doha Center. So basically, this was just all desert. Lucille, it's called Lucille, Lucille, Lucy the Seal. Um, yeah, there's sweet FA out here, and you can just see how cloudy it is. It's just all the desert dust flying in. Um, yeah, desert dust flying in off the desert. Um, there's no trees, no natural vegetation uh, obviously there's trees there but they've been planted but there's basically not much natural greenery a couple over in the back corner over there over there but I don't know if that's uh, been planted as well but yeah there's not much of a um, of a landscape if you like uh, you know rainforests or trees or not like Canada that's for sure they made it look pretty they made it look good with all the flags um, that's about it if it wasn't for the flags, it's basically just Barrow Island, right? Here we go, we have Yusuf from Senegal and... Zach from Senegal. Yus Yusuf and Zach from Senegal. So these guys, Senegal's got their first game today. How do you think you're going to go? Yes, we'll win 2-0. Uh, 2-0? Yes. Against? The Netherlands. Netherlands, yeah. have they got the Netherlands? Yeah, we'll uh, win the Netherlands, I think we're going to win. And Sadio Mane, him being out, he's injured through uh, his... Um, Munich, uh, yes. How do you feel you're going to do without Sadio Mane? And as a Senegalese gentleman, how much of a respected person, individual is he in the country of Senegal? Please tell me some about Sadio Mane, gentlemen. Sadio Mane is more of just like a football player. He's like acting lots of like humanitarian work in Senegal. We yes. did like several things that like he has achieved in Senegal, like building hospital, school in his like home village in Bambali. But unfortunately, we're going to lose him like today. But the coach will have to come up like with another plan, you know, and try to play like with a team and without Sadio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have like to adapt our game without him because we never play like without him. Yes. So it's going to be a tough game, but we're gonna make it. Holland's Holland's a very good um Holland's a very good team and some critics say they may go all the way this year. So having Sadio out is a big loss for Senegal. Yes. Um what do you believe the game plan needs to be? Yes, of course, it's uh, difficult to play uh, without uh, Sadio Mane, but it's World Cup and everything is possible. And uh, Senegal have to, to play, uh, to play uh, as they played uh, in uh, Cannes. Yeah, no, exactly. Well, best of luck to you. Um, it's good to meet people from all around the world. And I personally think Sadio Mane is an absolute... I personally think Sadio Mane is an absolute um, superstar, not just because of how good he is as a footballer, when he was playing at Liverpool, how he good is he at Bayern Munich, but just like you say, Zach, for his humanitarian work and yes. what he does for the people of Senegal. Yes. Yes. Um, and I wish more footballers out there would take a leaf out of Sadio Mane's book because he's an absolute uh, one of a kind human being. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Where are you from? Uh, from Australia.